What's up? It's Joel here at Chicago Music Exchange, and today I'm showcasing for you this beautiful monstrosity of a guitar, the B3 Phoenix. And uh, I'm in love with this guitar. I love every single thing about it, and I'm going to explain everything about it to you right now. It's very, very much uh, simply just a Tele and a Firebird, and they got together and they uh, procreated and had this little baby. And uh, it's a set neck, all Carina, uh, Firebird in every aspect, except that it's got a Tele-shaped body, Tele bridge, and a Tele bridge pickup. Um, what that means for you is that you can get all the Firebird sounds up in here, and the fire. I mean, the Tele pickup still. You can make it sound like a, it's like hot and bitey, like a Firebird bridge pickup would. But you get a five-way switch, and you get a coil tap on the two mini humbuckers. So literally nine positions here. It doesn't obviously it doesn't tap the single coil, but it's a hot, a hot pickup in the bridge here. It's a it was a Lawler specialty Tele, so it's like a hot Tele bridge, and then you get two Lawler Firebird humbuckers in the neck in the middle. And then yeah, you get a five-way switch, so you can get the Tele bridge sound. You can get like that quacky Strat thing here. If you pull the coil tap, it gets even more quacky and Strat-like. Um, same thing through all the different positions. One of my favorite positions is just the middle, just on full. It's such a weird, bizarre, cool sound that you don't get out of a lot of guitars because uh, I don't know. I guess you don't get a a mini humbucker in the middle of a lot of guitars. But you can coil tap that. A really cool single coil sound as well. Um, and then same thing, you get that out of phase uh, neck middle position, which you can tap and make it more single coily. And then the neck position, which is full and fat and huge and throaty on the full humbucker, and then you can split it, and then it becomes a little bit bitier, a little bit nastier, but still it's super splatty. Very, very cool sounding pickup. Uh, Grover tuners, uh, rosewood board, bound neck, um, trapezoid inlays. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I'm missing here. Yeah, it's basically like a Gibson Tele with Firebird neck pickups. It's uh, like for me personally, and I know this is like sacrilege to a lot of people, but I don't like Tele's purely just like totally vain reasons. I don't like how they look, and so I don't ever want to play one like on stage because I just don't like how Tele's look, whatever. This thing solves all my problems. It looks like a Gibson. It feels like a Gibson. Sounds like a Tele when I want it to sound like a Tele. So for me, best of both worlds. And this is uh, lightly relict. Um, well, it's not like an obnoxious over the top thing, but I can tell you this as a, a new electric guitar, one of the oldest feeling, it's an like old soul electric guitar, even though it's a brand new guitar. This thing is snappy, it's resonant before you even plug it in, um, and it sounds, yeah, it's that Karina, lightweight Karina, super light, like, I don't know, seven and a half pounds maybe. Um, we're playing through Tone King, Sky King, and uh, you know I love Tone King stuff, um, just because of all the options as far as, you know, power scaling and cleans and dirties at any volume that you want and uh yeah this thing's hand wired it's sick clean dirty tube reverb tube tremolo um 
uh, attenuation on the back of that. And that's it, there's no pedals, uh, no nothing. We're just going Phoenix into the Sky King and it sounds sick, so I hope you like it. You should definitely check this thing out. <laughs> Damn, Firebird, how you doing? You looking fine. Oh, thanks, Telly. I like your finish. It's really cool. I'm Sunburst, too. We should get together. Yeah, that sounds dope. Let's go back to my place. Okay.